it's taking a bit longer today for our cargo cars to be ready. But that's okay. We don't want to rush things. We just need to be patient and wait. I can do that. <whistles> ah, here we go, Percy. After you. Why, thank you, Thomas. <laughs> I'll take that one. Diesel, hold on. There we go. I'm ready for the day. What? What's wrong? You pushed in line and took Percy's cargo car. That wasn't very nice. Oh, I was only trying to get on with my day. I get that. But aren't you forgetting something important, Diesel? Ah. Uh... Using your manners. Manners? What do you mean, manners? How we treat one another is very important. And having good manners is the kind and polite way to avoid hurting someone's feelings. Right. Like what? Well, waiting your turn is good manners. If you don't wait your turn, that means you're taking someone else's turn. And when Ooh, you... And when I took Percy's cargo car, I was taking his turn. Well, that's right. And it's also important to wait your turn to talk. Oh, I just interrupted, didn't I? Oh, that's not good manners. I'm getting this now. Thanks for helping me. <gasps> that's good manners, Diesel. Saying thank you. Uh, Percy, please take this cargo car. It was yours after all. Diesel, you said please. That's great manners. Thomas, I'll go after you and take the next cargo car. I'll be sure to think about how to use my manners by saying please and thank you more often. That's wonderful, Diesel. Having good manners is a great way to respect other people and to make sure no one gets their feelings hurt. Oh, Thomas, look at those two birds. Oh, yes, and look at their colours. They're different, just like us. <gasps> what do you mean? We're not different. <laughs> I'm blue and you're green. It's just one way that we are different. Everyone is different. And our differences are what make us special. Aren't we all just tank engines? <laughs> Here, let me show you. Follow me. Look, see Toby? He's different than us. He has a square face. Oh, yes, that's true. But not that different, really. Well, that's just one example. Harold is definitely different. He's not an engine at all. I can see how that's different, but what's so special about not being an engine? Whoa! Yes, that is very special. Differences can be beautiful. Let's find more. Ooh, ooh, Cranky is different. He's really tall. Taller than anyone else I know. Now you're getting it, Percy. Um, who else? How about Sir Topham Hat? Sir Topham is very different. He's not an engine or a helicopter or a crane. He's a person and a wonderful person at that. <laughs> he wears a top hat too. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas. It's so amazing how different everyone is. Absolutely. We don't have to be the same. And that's OK. Diversity means being different. Being different is what makes us special. If we all look the same and all like the same things, it would be really boring. It's fun that everyone is different. Yes, it is, Percy. Yes, it is. <laughs> Be careful. What's wrong, Percy? The other day, one of my wheels hit a rock and I came off the tracks. It really hurt. Oh, no. I'm so sorry, Percy. Now I'm afraid it'll happen again or something worse. Oh, yes. Accidents happen sometimes. We try our best to be careful and watch what we're doing, but they can still happen. What's important is that we tell an adult when we have an accident. Really? Why is that? 
Well, if you have an accident and hurt yourself, you need to tell an adult because they can help make it better. And if you have an accident that causes you to drop or break something, then telling an adult is the right thing to do so they can help you clean up the mess. You mean, tell someone like Sir Topham Hatt? Exactly. I'm feeling much better, Thomas. Thank you. <gasps> Percy, look out for that rock! Owie, owie, owie! Percy, are you okay? I'm hurt, but I know what to do. I need to go and tell Sir Topham Hatt. Way to go, Percy. I can do this. Ow! I can do this. Ow! I'm right here with you, Percy. Sir! Sir Topham! Sir Topham Hatt! Percy, what's wrong? I ran into a rock on the tracks and it hurts. Oh, you did the right thing coming to tell me, Percy. Now, follow me and we'll fix you right up. You'll feel better in no time. Thank you, Thomas, for teaching me the importance of finding an adult. Happy to help, Percy. <laughs> oh, no! James! Are you OK, James? We need to go and tell an adult so they can help you clean up the mess. Follow me! <laughs> Beautiful outside today, but so hot as well. In the summer, when the weather is hot and sunny, it's important to protect yourself from the sun and find shade to stay cool. Oh, good idea, Gordon. We'll keep that in mind. But it's all about to change. Really? The weather is always changing, but with each new season comes new weather, and we need to be ready. Huh? How so? Hmm. How about we take a trip through the four seasons? Follow me! So, as we know, summer is hot and sunny. It's fun to play, but... But we must keep cool. <laughs> That's right. But how is that different than this season? Whoa! The leaves on the trees are all beautiful colours. Orange, red, yellow. <laughs> and it's getting darker earlier, not to mention a bit chillier. That is correct. This is autumn, which is quite different from this season. This must be winter. I love the snow. Me too. But we have to wear snow plows in winter to help clear the snow from the tracks. That's correct. Just one more season now. What could this season be? Such lovely, colourful flowers. The leaves on the trees are green again. I think we're in spring. Right again. So, in autumn, the leaves change colour, and in winter, it gets cold and snows. In the springtime, flowers bloom and leaves sprout, and in summer, it's sunny and hot. Well done, Thomas and Percy. That's the weather in each season. <coughs> Look! A farm! Oh, I love farms! Especially all the animals! Me too! In fact, I can make a really great cow sound! Want to hear? <coughs> Moo! <laughs> that is a very good moo! <gasps> Did you hear that? That sounded like a cow! But I don't see any cows. Where could they be? Maybe if we figure out where cows sleep or eat, we might find them. Grass! Cows eat grass and sleep in grass too, but in a big open area. Well, let's try over there. There they are! Cows! Moo! Oh, pigs are so funny. But where are they? I think they like to lay in the mud. 
Of course. They don't call it a pig pen for no reason. They must be there in a pig pen. Oink, 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 oink. oink. <laughs> that sounded like a rooster. Don't roosters live in a coop? Let's find him. Is he there? I see chickens, but no rooster. Hmm. When roosters crow, they need to be somewhere everyone can hear them. Hmm. Where could that be? <gasps> Percy! Up there! Look! <laughs> we found him! <laughs> cock a doo <laughs> That was so much fun, Thomas! I just love farm animals! Moo! Oink, oink! cock a doo doo After we take this recycling to the docks, we can take the trash to the waste dump and then we're done for the day! Shouldn't take too long either, since we already separated the trash from the recycling! Hello, Cranky! Hello, Thomas and Percy! We've brought you some recycling to be recycled! Oh, well, that's very good, but it's not as simple as that. It needs to be separated first. <laughs> we know that. In fact, we've already separated the trash from the recycling. You have separated the trash. But you did not separate the recyclables. Huh? <laughs> there are lots of different things that can be recycled and they need to be separated as well to be properly recycled. Paper, plastic and metal all have their own bins. Oh, so after separating recyclables from trash, we then need to separate each recyclable. Exactly. So, an aluminium can. Which bin should this go in? Metal. What bin should I place this newspaper into? Paper. Right again. And this water bottle? Plastic. Plastic. Now you're getting it. Shall we separate the rest of these recyclables now? Yes. Let's do it! Metal! Plastic! Paper! Thank you so much for showing us how to separate the recyclables, Cranky! My pleasure! Come on, Percy! Let's get the rest of this trash to the waste dump! Today so hard. Uh, I don't know, but yes, today was quite difficult. Looks like you two had quite a day. We sure did, sir. We're feeling quite slow and sluggish. And don't know why. Well, when did you start to feel that way? First thing this morning. Hmm, I think I might know the problem. I feel sluggish first thing in the morning, too, until I go through my morning routine, that is. Morning routine? A morning routine helps us prepare for the day. What do you do in your morning routine? I begin with breakfast. A healthy breakfast gives you a boost of energy. Next, I always brush my teeth. Finally, I get nice and clean with a shower. And after all that, I feel fresh and bright, ready for the day. That sounds nice. But what would our morning routine be? I'm glad you asked. James! My morning routine isn't all that different to Sir Topham's, and I'd be glad to show you. That would be great, James. First, I fill my firebox with fresh coal. This will heat your boiler, make your tummy nice and warm and give you the fuel to start your day. Next, a good wheel scrubbing. This will help your wheels move smoothly on the tracks. 
after that comes my favourite part, a warm, bubbly wash. <laughs> this part tickles sometimes. <laughs> and now I'm looking splendid and ready for anything. Thank you, James, for showing us. Would you two like to try a morning routine tomorrow? <gasps> Absolutely! Me too! <laughs> <laughs>